पिछले तीन साल से ऑलमोस्ट एवरी मंथ वी गेट अ न्यू हेडलाइन सेइंग दैट 85 मिलियन जॉब्स विल बी रिप्लेस्ड स्किल्ड वर्कर्स के जॉब्स जा रहे होंगे एआई इज गोना टेक सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स जॉब्स कोडिंग जॉब्स आर गोइंग एक्सटिंक्ट एंड ये इतनी बार हो चुका है कि पीपल हैव स्टॉप टेकिंग इट सीरियसली एनीमोर एंड हैविंग अ बीटेक इन एआई आई अंडरस्टैंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस अ लिटिल बेटर देन द लेमैन और द एवरेज पर्सन दैट इज द मेजर रीजन व्हाई आई वाज नेवर रियली बॉदर्ड बाय एनी ऑफ दिस न्यूज़ बिकॉज़ आई न्यू हाउ थिंग्स वर वर्किंग व्हाट आर द लिमिटेशंस ऑफ पर्टिकुलर एआई and the tools that were coming into the market but this time i really think it is a good time to start back now of course media loves to make everything a big deal for attention i mean uh, ai will take your job is a very good headline it is also a very good clickbait thumbnail or a title for a youtube video that is why you are watching this particular video but after talking to many veterans of the industry people who have like 10 15 years of experience in the it industry the software engineering field i want to tell you my perspective of how i am seeing the arrival of devin and the other ais that are in the market the good the bad and the ugly because i know a lot of you are aspiring to be exactly where i am career wise although the question pehle was ki whether you will be able to get the job now the bigger looming question is that maybe in a 3 to 4 years time span will the job even exist yes. now let's have a look at the not so ancient history of this ai tools in the coding realm at around 2011 if i remember correctly the first thing that was launched that came into my radar was github copilot that was uh, taking the world a little bit by storm uh, but it was really marketed as something to help the developer not replace them and it lived up to that promise if you are a developer and you know exactly what to do and how to do it the small rigorous tasks can be taken care of by the github copilot and it's a very amazing tool i use it almost every day and it's really really very good but once gpt came out chat gpt i guess it came out around november 2022 that is when the whole world went crazy about ai because it is not the first time a large language model was like invented or something it has been in existence for quite some time but this was the first time a fully trained large language model was at the disposal of the general public everyone on the internet could use chat gpt and this was the first time that has happened people are starting to lose their minds developers being developers we tried to use chat gpt the initially with gpt3 and now with gpt4 to do our work now of course chat gpt can write basic normal chunks of code but generally what a software engineer does is that they work on a ह्यूज प्री एग्जिस्टिंग कोड बेस जहां पर अलग अलग फ्रेम वर्क अलग अलग टेक्स टैक यूज हो रखे हैं दे हैव टू गो इन एंड फिक्स समथिंग और मेक सम एडिशन टू इट चेंज समथिंग इन दैट एग्जिस्टिंग कोड बेस एंड फॉर दैट यू फर्स्ट हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड अ पार्ट ऑफ द कोड बेस एटलीस्ट द पार्ट दैट यू आर डीलिंग विद एंड चैट जी पी टी कुड नॉट रियली डू दैट वेरी वेल इवन विद जी पी टी फोर चैट जी पी टी लाइक इन माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अदर पीपल्स दैट हैव स्पोकन टू इट लाइक फेल्स एट आउट ऑफ टेन टाइम्स टू गिव द परफेक्ट कोड एंड देन टू मेक इट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज रॉन्ग विद द कोड एंड हाउ यू कैन फिक्स इट इट्स अ होल एंड अदर जार्गन ऑफ टास्क दैट इज ऑनेस्टली आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बट इफ यू एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द कोड एंड वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू एंड हैव अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ आइडिया अबाउट द अप्रोच यू वॉन्ट टू टेक एंड यू आर मे बी जस्ट टक ऑन द सिंटैक्स यू डोंट नो वॉट द सिंटैक्स कुड बी यू डोंट नो वॉट आर द फ्रेम वर्क दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट देन आर्गुएबली चैट जी बिटी कैन हेल्प यू क्वाइट अ लॉट बट इट स्टिल कैन नॉट रिप्लेस यू बिकॉज यू हैव टू हैव द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट अ डेवलपर हैज एंड टॉप ऑफ द चैट जी बिटी वॉज ट्रेंड ऑन ऑल द डेटा दैट वॉज बिफोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी dates or features that has been brought into the world after 2022 chat gpt just does not work with that so that is another huge problem now just like chat gpt i have tried working with bard that is currently known as gemini that is by google although bard or gemini is a little bit better at coding at getting like good solutions on the first try but again it does not get there you can see the numbers by yourself in that popular <laughs> graph that is going around the internet like in a very important date is march 2024 a startup an ai startup named cognition launches devin as the name suggests it is supposed to do a developer's job now i have not personally used devin by my own hands but looking at other videos and demos i can tell you that it takes a problem a coding problem it writes some code and then it finds some errors obviously everyone gets some errors then it takes that error searches it on the internet goes on to google or stack overflow wherever it needs to finds 
potential solutions brings them back implements them back onto your code then runs it again get more error and keeps doing this until there are errors or bugs left to debug and unlike chat gpt bard or gemini devin is different it's not a closed system it can also use the terminal to run its code it can also use a text editor to write its code and also use a web browser to search for solutions now now as exciting as it may sound it is also very very scary because all the tech developers all the software engineers including me will agree and we understand that that is exactly what we do for 80 to 90 percent of our time on a daily basis and if some ai tool can do all of that work of course faster than us our jobs really are in danger and devin sirf humans ko hi nahi hara raha hai it is also demolishing the records that the other gpts and bards and gemini all of those gpts had you can see in this popular graph that is going around the internet while the other gpts were barely crossing 4 or being very close to 4% of success rate devin is already at 13% and there is one truth about technology in the whole history of humankind right right from the making of wheels and cars and uh, smartphones and internet there is one truth is that technology always evolves faster than you can imagine so with that in mind i am pretty sure it is not going to take much time for the 13% to grow into 23 33 or even 53 in the next 2 to 3 years now you might be thinking why the added ability to search for uh, solutions in a some online forum how is that so tangible You need to understand that coding inherently is not a very creative job. People taking the creative decisions, the decisions about what should a company do, what should a particular software do, those people are not coders. They are like CEOs, they are business managers and product managers. They are sitting down and defining all these things like okay, what should we do? The coders are just there to implement them. to just make the things happen i agree it is a very cognitive task but again for cognitive tasks if it's something that is not very uncommon you can borrow the cognition the previous cognition and the previous experiences the previous solutions to problems that has occurred before and that can be found on online forums like stack overflow so much so that if stack overflow goes down for a week now half of the industry will be doomed because people do not know how to work without stack overflow or other online forums so if you really want to strike a bottom line to all of this will software engineering jobs go extinct not completely not at least in the near future but the number will shrink a lot i suppose the number will shrink by like 80 to 90% and while it is going to be very hard to stay put in the industry to upgrade yourself with the industry with the growing industry need as the competition will also increase because the number of seats or the number of vacancies will decrease their competition will increase exponentially and so will the salaries of software engineers but again to get that elite level of salary that will be coming i'm pretty sure it will be coming in the next 3 to 4 years you have to be in the top 10 to 20% of the programmer so now that is something not very easy to do let me tell you so to stay relevant in the industry you have to be always aggressively learning the new technologies new updates and new frameworks you have to put in the extra amount of work because everyone else is doing the bare minimum or a little above the bare minimum if you just do the same you're going to be just one of the people who gets laid off coding has to be the thing you live and breathe and that kind of hard work if you're willing to put that in for this kind of job perfect you will be one of those elite software developers when even when ai takes over most of the software industry and not just new frameworks you will also have to learn how to use the newer ai tools that can help you become like 5x 6x more efficient and more productive as a software engineer why because then the company will see that okay this guy can literally do five people's work and i don't really have to pay him 5x i can just pay him 3x fire all the other five people and this guy can do a whole team's work so you need to be that guy if you don't want to get laid off now that is just one part of the problem while keeping a software engineering job becomes this much difficult getting a new software engineering jobs become even more difficult with the sheer amount of new engineering graduates in india or around the world the whole space is going to be oversaturated with applicants and with so many people applying it's going to be really up to your skill and the amount of experience you have the amount of experience you have by building your things yourself 
because after some time nobody will hire freshers without any experience anymore because why would you want someone who you will have to teach and give salary to and they teach them for like a year and so and then they come at their full potential they will rather hire people who are freshers but they have some kind of work experience as they don't have to hire as many people instead of hiring like five freshers they could invest in one good guy who has some kind of experience so these good projects your work experience some versatility and superior coding skills is what is going to take you through a technical interview but getting a technical interview is going to become even more excruciatingly harder because there will be thousands and thousands of resumes pouring into every single company now here is a secret about resume you might not know this but do you really think a really big company jinke paas roz 100000 resumes aate the actually go through those resumes they don't people don't have time for that what actually goes through your resumes is a resume board most companies most big companies use some kind of resume board these days and these boards basically scrape through all those resumes resumes in like minutes and shortlist like 10 20 or however many people that the company wants to interview and that way you can imagine sometimes it is very unfair to some people some people we all know one of our friends who is really really good at coding has good work experience is like really like you seem like they are made for this job but somehow their resume never get shortlisted it's just because they have not optimize their resume now you can make your resume look really good it can look really impressive to people but you don't know how to make your resume look good to an ai now that's a whole different problem now stick with me because i'm going to tell you how to make your resume impressive to an ai as well you need to understand that your resume is like the thumbnail of your video on youtube if the thumbnail is bad nobody is going to click on it if the thumbnail is bad nobody is going to know how good the video inside is so although the video is very very important equally important is the thumbnail so what can we do about it even after having all the skills how do we make sure our resume get shortlisted through the bots that people are using there are numerous resume builders on the internet i have used at least five or six of them but there is one resume builder which uses the power of ai to actually tell you how good your resume is beam jobs is also the sponsor of this video now you really need to stick with me here because i am going to tell you how you can use this so that your resume get shortlisted through the resume bots you simply go to beamjobs.com and create your resume from scratch now from the different styles of resume templates you can choose whichever is most fitting to your particular job and on this resume anything and everything is fully customizable you can even switch to some other resume templates with just one click even after you built the whole resume if you already have a resume you can upload that and using ai beamjobs will tell you how good out of 100 is that resume for the ai well that's not a very good score what can i do about it ai will also suggest you what are the changes that you can make to your resume so it gets a better score so optimize your resume get it over 90 99 or even spend 2 3 hours more to make it the best resume that you can make and get the score to 100 and if you're too lazy to make your own resume but you have a good polished linkedin profile you can also link your linkedin profile and to fetch that data into a good looking well rounded resume using ai but i think the question still remains would you want to be a software engineer maybe 6 7 8 years down the line now i personally can foresee a shift in society's mindset the hard mindset that a society has i think that will shift quite a lot in india uh in the next few coming years just like 2000 to 2015 uh civil electrical mechanical jobs ko bahut zyada elite mana jata tha because i don't know like core jobs getting in people who are going into iits or any other colleges would prefer getting a electrical or mechanical civil degree but 2015 mein the it boom happened in india and sort of in the west as well and that is when people started saying that software engineering jobs are the next big thing it has almost been 10 years now and uh, i think over the next few years there will be another shift because 90% of the software engineering jobs will be gone and uh, software engineering will become one of the elite jobs that a uh, very few people have and they earn a lot but it will not be achievable for the mass majority of people बिकॉज इंडिया में जितने लोग ग्रेजुएट होते हैं हर साल उसमें से 80 परसेंट लोगों को आई टी जॉब मिलती भी नहीं है राइट तो ऑलरेडी द नंबर इज वेरी लेस एंड इट्स गॉन बिकम इवन वर्स इतना खराब कि होल समाज का वो चेंज हो जाएगा इतना खराब कि पहले पहले देखो क्या था पहले था कि भाई शर्मा का बेटा वर्मा का बेटा पांडे का बेटा तीनों भाई सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर बने तो मेरा बेटा भी आई का जॉब करेगा आफ्टर अ फ्यू ईयर्स वर्मा के बेटे को ले ऑफ कर दिया गया है 
पांडे का बेटा अपने घर का बिजनेस संभाल रहा है शर्मा जी का बेटा स्टील सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर जो कंपनी का वीसी बन चुका है क्योंकि वो शर्मा जी का बेटा है उसको कुछ नहीं कर सकते तुम बट अभी इट इज नॉट अ वेरी इजी चॉइस फॉर मी टू से कि बेटा तुम सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर बन जाओ क्योंकि मुझे भी नहीं पता यार क्योंकि मुझे मुझे दिख रहा है सामने की सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर की लाइफ कैसी चल रही है या फिर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर को ले ऑफ किया जाए सो आई थिंक इन अ वेरी probably in a very selfish and self-centered way i can say that i feel this is a good change coming into the society because then again once again people will be faced with the problem people will again have to sit and think about what do i enjoy doing what do i like to do what are my skills how can i help a company okay right now it is just like uh, which job earns the most amount of money okay let me just go into that because it is not that hard to get into it but once it becomes hard we will again start thinking and questioning things questioning their career questioning their job profiles and everything and that is a good thing ultimately people a lot more people will be doing things that they want to do and i really think that's a good thing in some way and from a very personal perspective main to chahta hu ki bhai devin jaldi improve kare and like ai to take over the whole industry please meri job le lo please jaldi se meri job le lo taki main shanti se video bana sakun